Okay. Ready? Yes. This is going to be your hypoglossal foramen for your hypoglossal nerve. This is going to be your tympano-occipital fissure for 9, 10, 11. Internally, it would be called the jugular foramen. This hole right here is going to be your stylomastoid for the cranial nerve 7, facial. On the inside, it's going to be called your internal acoustic meatus, which would also have the vestibular cochlear, cranial nerve 8, but cranial nerve 8 stays within the skull, does not leave. Um, going inside, so you're going to have your jugular right there, um, your internal acoustic meatus right there, and then this one is going to be your trigeminal canal, which has cranial nerve 5. And that's going to go out of the um, oval foramen, which is going to have branch your mandibular um, and your maxillary. And from the outside, you can kind of see it better. This is going to be where your mandibular comes out from the oval. And then your round is going to be the, uh, this. Oh, crap, I can't really get it. But anyways, there's a rostral side and a rostral alar foramen and caudal alar foramen. And this is the round, and this is where the maxillary nerve and artery go through. Um, this is going to be your orbital fissure with three, four, ophthalmic of five, and six. And this is going to be your optic um, canal for your optic nerve. This is going to be your infraorbital um, fissure, foramen. foramen. And then your olfactory will go through a cribriform plate or a cribriform foramen also. That is all.